Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. It's Friday, November the 20th. It's the 25th week after Pentecost. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verse 23 to 32, and Revelation 22, verse 6 to 13. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Say to the power that shakes the sky, how terrible you are, sinners before your presence fly, or at your feet they bow. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, they that go down to the sea in ships, these see the works of the Most High. Alleluia. Psalm 107. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, they that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in the great waters. They see the works of the Most High, and God's wonders in the deep. God commands the storm which lifts the waves. They mount up to the heavens, and they fell back again to the depths. Their souls melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like drunkards, and are at their wits' end. And then they cry to the Most High in their trouble and God saved them from their distress. God calmed the storm and stilled the waves. They were glad because the sea was quiet. So God brings them to their desired heaven. O people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. Exalt God in the congregation of the people and praise God in the assembly of the elders. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. They that go down to the sea in ships, these see the works of the Most High. Alleluia. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 22, beginning at verse 6. And the angel said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. For the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what soon must take place. See, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things, and when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed them to me. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades, the prophets, and with those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the evildoer still do sin, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right and the holy still be holy. See, I'm coming soon. My reward is with me to repay according to everyone's work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, 
the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. We thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer that your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Edmund and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O merciful and loving God, we praise you for your goodness and proclaim your saving help to all the world. Deliver us from all our distress. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.